Last week, the Parliamentary Committee on Presidential Affairs chaired by Firebrand Buyaga County MP Barnabas Tinkasimire backed up KCCA to demolish an illegal structure on Plot 42 along Nile Avenue. The demolition came after the Executive Director Jennifer Musisi made a complaint to Parliament. This morning, Musisi tabled another petition indicating a list of over 200 wetland enclosures in the city. She says attempts by KCCA to evict the enclosures has been hampered by security forces who are protecting the enclosures. The places are usually guarded with armed people and our enforcement people are not armed. Because what touches UPDF touches me so much. So I'm going to follow up this matter personally. Among the enclosures cited are John Iman Laguha, who has encroached on Kansanga wetland, erecting an illegal fuel station. Sarah Kizito, wife to the Central Division Chairman Godfrey Nyakana, who is establishing a recreational center in Ruzira without permits and approval, and Derimas Investments Limited, encroaching on Nachivo wetland. Musisi also informed the Parliamentary Committee on Presidential Affairs that cultural institution-based organizations and faith-based organizations responsible for land affairs and Uganda Land Commission have also gone ahead to allocate land in wetlands. We, we do not have the records of Uganda Land Board or ULC uh, in order to, or the Catholic Church, which also is a big land owner, or Church of Uganda. So these bodies are the ones that would know which properties they have allocated. MPs want NEMA to explain the wetland degradation under their watch. NEMA has messed up this country. <laughs> we need to do something about NEMA. They will tomorrow visit areas which have been degraded to advise the encroachers to vacate before they are forcefully evicted. All these people mentioned and those who are not mentioned but in wetlands should prepare to vacate these land, these wetlands, otherwise the government is going to unleash all forces of coercion. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.